Hello, I'm Wally. And I'm Pam. I'm Heather. I'm Nate. And we're the Perez family. Um, and we've been coming to Mandarin United Methodist for about, how long, Heather? Seven years now? Seven years? Wow, okay. So um, our, our stewardship journey really started a long time ago, I mean before we moved to, to Jacksonville, back in, back in Memphis, Tennessee. So um, the kids weren't even born yet and, and one of the things that we got involved with is our Sunday school classes and kind of as we grew in our relationship to the church, our stewardship journey grew. Um, I think the more involved we got with the church, the more the more that we grew in wanting to, to be more involved, be more, more good stewards with our finances. So. For our family, it really started when the kids were born, when we started going to church as a family, and um, it really has just gotten to the point where, when we, by the time we moved to, to Mandarin, we were pretty well down the path in our stewardship journey. Financial commitment to the church. Um, it really starts with. Oh, oh no, 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 no. That, that's the just. So um, when when we talk about our financial commitment and what we're going to do, it's it's really a challenge for us as a family because I'm a I'm a I'm a sales rep, and so every year my income can fluctuate dramatically, and so to try to come up with a number and a commitment can sometimes be really difficult. So Pam and I will talk about it and we'll think, you know, what is going to happen this year and. We really don't know, but we, what we do know is that that whatever we are given um, in terms of my salary, we always feel that it's necessary to give to the church. So, so when it we tie, but you know it is a challenge for me because and for us because again, not knowing uh, financially what we're going to have from year to year makes it really difficult. But we do pledge, we do give a commitment to the church that we we know we can do. And then we always try to go above and beyond that. Um, and, and usually what winds up happening is we're blessed and things happen uh, more than we ever expected and it turns out to work really well. So, so the one thing that I would say is that for our family, um, being good stewards, it's really, it's been a blessing. It's a joy, it's something that we do because um, God has blessed our family. God has given us so much um, in terms of just everything. I mean, I mean, everything we have and everything that we, we look at, it's because of the blessing that God has given us. The church specifically is, has been a blessing to our family. We've watched our kids grow up in Mandarin for the most part. And, you know, I've seen Heather and Nathan just really grow spiritually and in their relationship with God. My wife and I, Pam, you know, we've done things together here. And I, I think... When we look at stewardship, it's something that we want to do, that we, we feel blessed that we're able to do, and the gifts that have been given to us um, is something we want to give back to God. We want to give it back to the church because um, it's done so much for us, and, and it's a joy to do it. And my challenge and my, my hope for you as a family and as an individual is that you'll pray about it, you'll think about it, and, and look at the blessings that you've been given and the joys in your life and just realize that that those are, those are gifts from God. And, and so, you know, this church has so much to offer us as a family, I'm sure you as a family, you as individuals, and I would just ask that you pray about it and see if it's something that is in your heart to give back to God, and to give back to the church. Um, Heather, Nathan, I mean, from a youth standpoint, I mean, what would you say? Um, just getting to know each individual in the youth um, and getting to formed such a strong bond with each and every one of them uh, has been a blessing in my life. Uh, getting to know their stories and where they want to be with their faith in a few years or goals in life. Uh, it's just, again, a blessing that God has continued to bless me with uh, each and every day and hearing stories about when they found God, why they want to be with God, why they want to uh, continue coming to church. Uh, just getting connected with them and getting connected with the youth has changed my life for the better. Uh, and it's something that I would encourage everyone to do with going to a small group, Sunday school class, coming to Connection, going to traditional, uh, just getting plugged into the church. It's just something that 
will benefit everyone. Uh, my word of encouragement would be just get involved because most of the time you'll end up having a blast with what you do because when I did VBS I kind of, the first year I didn't really want to do it but as I kept doing it I started having more and more fun because the kids are just a blast and it's, it, all, all the volunteers just make it worth the while and uh, like recently I also played uh, Wednesday night and uh, it started off with I don't really know how I'm going to do this because I've never taken on a challenge like this but it became into not only teaching these kids, these younger kids something, but they're also teaching me a little something else. Uh, you always can get something out of it.